Sorry, we couldn't resist. The remark could be sparky. <laughs> Imagine you're going to have that played <laughs> in 2026. God knows I'm probably going to hear that in London this year when the Phillies um, see the Mets. I'm, probably, I'm definitely going to hear that. Um, but yeah. Yay! I'm so happy for you! Yay! The Islanders will be hosting the 2026 Edge Hall All-Star Weekend. Yay! And what a way to announce it, because this was a complete caught off guard. Um, because obviously we were fresh off, obviously, from this year's All-Star Weekend in Toronto, being hosted by Carlson. We found out we weren't going to have one net here because of, of the silly Four Nations tournament. And we were kind of left wondering, well, are we not going to have one in 2026? Because obviously the league have said yes to the players going to Milan Cortina. So we're going to have to wait till 2027 for the next All-Star weekend. So it was kind of in the dark. Um, and then obviously when the Islanders and Rangers were, were playing at the Stainless Series, not just long ago in New Jersey, the announcement gets made, the Islanders are going to host the All-Star Weekend in 2026. So, hey, hey, whoa, wait, wait, now that, that is new. I think that's the first, uh, I think that's the first in my 15 years that of an event being announced like that. But, well, hey, that really, but I bet that really robbed the Rangers bad up the wrong way. Yeah, 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 going to stick it to them. Put that there. Yeah. We share mutual disdain for the Rangers, Sparky. We really do. I've always said, Sparky, if I, if I was ever to go to New York during hockey season, I'd want to come to you, not the Rangers. I'd want, I'd want to come to you. Um, and UBS Arena is so gorgeous. I'm envy of UBS Arena. I think it's an absolutely stunning facility. And I've always, and, and you have to wonder, when was that going get, to get, get an All-Star weekend? It was only a matter of time before one of these new venues were like, yes, you can have an All-Star weekend. It gets to be you. And then Detroit fans are fuming because they want it to be these little seasons of the reader. But Detroit, you have going to be playing Columbus in next year's Dane series. So, you know, so pipe down. At least you get in the bed. I'm still waiting for my, for another roll of the dice at outdoors. Why do you think I'm wearing this? This? No, Sparky. I want to roll. I know I want to go outdoors again. Okay, so at least you can go outdoors, Detroit. So pipe down. Mm. Yeah, so it's amazing, exciting news, and relief for me because I don't feel like I could go free, go out and also week up for three years. For next year to be a gap year, I can do, I can handle that because obviously we had because obviously we handled it um, in obviously in 2021 when obviously the Panthers couldn't host the Ulster weekend in 2021 because of COVID. We handled it then. Um. I suppose technically I did go three years between All Star Weekend because I did miss out on 2022 because of the Olympics, but I did follow the mascot showdown, so I technically don't think a cat has a break for me. No. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I don't think I could have gone three years as a gap between All Star Weekends. I don't think I could. I don't think I could have done that. It just didn't feel right. Um,. So I'm so relieved that there's going to be an All-Star Weekend in 2026 at US Arena. It's absolutely, I'm, it's, it's, I'm just so thrilled. Um, so are we going to have Broadway themed jerseys, Sparky? Makes sense. I've got, I've got a brilliant concept for All-Star jerseys. You do it in Broadway lights and you have the word mark of each team front and centre in broad in Broadway font. We can workshop we've got two years, we can workshop them Spark, we can workshop them. Okay. Um Yeah. But how exciting is this? The Islanders get to host um the Edge also again in twenty twenty six. Um at your this is amazing. Because I, I really do love you, sweet. I think it's a gorgeous facility, and I'm so pleased that it's finally going to get an opportunity to be shown off in its, all its glory. Um, the Islanders have really did so, so much great work in getting that arena top up, state of art, top notch quality. It really is a beautiful arena. Um, absolutely gorgeous. 
Now, we don't have any dates yet, but I would imagine because this is going to happen right before the Olympics and the league has said it's going to be, we're going to let players go to the Olympics, I would imagine you'd have to schedule this for the last weekend of January. Because I'm going to bring the dates for the winning Olympics up for you, Sparky. So the Winter Olympics in Milan Court will begin on the 6th of February 2026 and will run until the 22nd of February and then obviously they'll be followed up by the Winter Paralympics. So February the 6th. So if we're looking at that then I think your best bet for an All-Star weekend in, in Long Island would be probably probably the 33rd the third the third sorry the 30th and the 31st of January 2026 because that'd be the week before the Winter Olympics I would allow time for any players that are on all-star rosters who are going to be on limit rosters to then get into Milan Cortina. Or you do it the week before on the 23rd and 24th and then you give give those players two weeks no, uh, notice before the start of the Olympics. Okay, so I, I think you'll look at probably either the 30th to the 31st of January next uh, 2026 or place the week before that. It depends on what the league wants to do regarding the players that are going to be chosen for the All-Star Weekend who might be on Olympic rosters. I personally don't think that if you're, if you're going to be on Olympic roster 2026, you should, you should not go to All-Star Weekend. I think not. So, no, because I because it's not going to be, because obviously it's Sparky, it's not going to be on the players that have to go, have to then fly out to Milan Cortina, you know, who will be probably focusing on their big opportunity Olympics and yet they've had to then come get to the you know, having just been in New York, you know. So I'm just I'm just trying to think, you know, because we want to see the best of the best at the Olympics. We want, we want to see them at their best. And they've already spent energy in New York with the festivities of Long Island. Is that gonna knock off that? When it's Olympics? Yeah. So I personally think well, I don't think, I don't think the league will, will will go with this Sparky. But I personally think if you're gonna an Olympic roster for Milan Cortina then you should, should basically sit the All-Star Weekend out. Because you should be focusing on Milan Cortina. But we'll see. We'll see. We will see. Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, yes, this is amazing. So, shall we read what the league has said? Off you go. You can have a look at it yourself. I'll read it out to you. So, this is what uh, the league has said about the, about the event. National Hockey League is thrilled to have the best and brightest of our game hosted at the spectacular US Arena for the 2026 Edge All-Star Weekend. We have been looking forward to US Arena playing host to one of our major league events since before construction of this one arena began. So that basically, to me, says the AHL had absolute confidence in US Arena, similar to how the AHL had absolute confidence in Texas Arena. Because we, Sparky, got given this year's AHL Classic before Texas Arena completed construction. So that, for me, just said sort a of clear message how the league is confident that Texas is going to have this facility. So the fact that Commissioner Metman already started looking at US Arena, hosting an event before it could complete it, that showed that he had confidence in that this is going to be an amazing facility for the Islanders. It is. That's great there. We have every confidence that this Islanders organization will deliver a celebration that will make the greater New York region and the AHR proud. So let's... And we'll... Listen to what the Islanders have said about it. This is what the Islanders now said about it. So, Islanders said that we are honored to be invited to host the National Hockey League. The game inspires players and fans from around the world to join in New York for the 2026 Edge All Star Weekend. Islanders majority owner said, 
whether our guests will be watching the time to players on the ice in US Arena, a building built specifically for hockey, shopping in Belmont Park Village, or enjoying pre and post game festivities in the park. The 2020 All Star Weekend will show Air Travels the outstanding destination we have for hockey, shopping, and entertainment. So, yes, the Islanders are very excited about this. Very exciting. So, this is going to be the um, second time the Islanders have hosted the Edge All Star Weekend. Uh, the first was back in 1983 um, in the uh, Old Coliseum. So, that's going to be absolutely um, amazing and exciting. Um, I'm just so thrilled for the Islanders to get this. I really. I really am. I'm just so pleased. Um, because I think it's about time. The Rangers have been given so many events in the last six years. I mean, they had, I mean, they had the 2018, they got put in the 2018 World Classic. They then, um, and then you get put in the Stone Series this year. Well, that might be it. Is it that, is that it? Or have I missed something out? No. So the Rangers have been been used quite a lot in the in the events, and the Islanders. Well, what's interesting, Sparky, that this year was only the second time that you'd been in an outdoor game. The last one was back in twenty fourteen. So that was shocking. Um. So you're kind of overlooked. As the te uh, by the Rangers, despite the fact that A, you're actually here representing the Islanders, and, and the Rangers haven't got a mascot, and B, I think you're the better New York side. I really do, I really do, I think, I really do. I mean, I've always felt it, ever since I've been involved with the, with the NHL 15 years ago, I've always felt the Islanders were the better New York side. I always have. I've always had this disdain for the Rangers. I can't work out what it is. But I've always had like this this sort of mutual loathing with the Rangers. I've always thought the Islanders were a better team. Of team. So I'm really happy that you are going to be up front and centre in two years' time. It is absolutely I'm really I'm excited about it. I really, really am. So I'm so pleased that you are gonna be hosting this event. I'm really, really pleased. Um and Rangers fans, you're going to have to just lump it. <laughs> I mean, they managed to, managed to put up with being in New Jersey for the weekend. I'm very sure they'll have no problem with being in Long Island. Yeah, honestly. The Rangers really took over. Met life, didn't they? For both, for both games, for both. Games. I remember seeing a, a good amount of Rangers fans for the first game, and yet the it wasn't. The, we got the Devils and Flyers. The Rangers really took over Met Life, though. They really did. They really did. Yeah, it was just bizarre. They really took over that stadium when it really was supposed, the spot was supposed to be on New Jersey. Hey ho! At least they were able to undermine you at your event. So it's so exciting. And uh, one of the things I'm really, really happy about is that this means that we're going to have back-to-back -back All Star Weekends in PWHR markets. I am so pleased about this. Now, as somebody who obviously has got involved with the PHL, you know, supporting Team Minnesota, um, it's really, really exciting that and it's just amazing that you've obviously had Toronto this year, and then in two years' time we're going to have New York. That's Back to back, PHL markets hosting AHL All Star weekends. And I hope, Sparks, that you can do a bit more than what Toronto did. Okay, Toronto obviously on the daily All Star game had uh, were hosting me, so that's probably the pair couldn't be bothered much, much. But I hope when we get to New York and Tuesday, I hope that your PHL team can be involved more than what Toronto was. Um, but yeah, so it's fantastic, obviously. Um, yeah, so that's really amazing. And of course, PHL New York do play a few games in UBS Arena. Because I'll, so I'll show you. PHL New York actually um, spreads out its games um, on home ice. So the majority of their games... Can I bring up a few Sparkies? Can you come up with a few help? Okay, can you go Sparky? 
So the majority of um, PHL New York games are played at in Bridgeport. Ah, 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 the Bridgeport Islanders. Um, the majority of the um, PHL New York games are played at the Total Mortgage Arena. I don't believe that's the Bridgeport Islanders Arena, Sparky. I don't believe it is. I might be mistaken, but I don't think it is. Let's double check. Oh, it is! It is! It is! Oh, it is! It is! Oh! It's because we don't. It's because I don't get to see Sparky. That's why I'm. It's because I don't. So obviously in the NHL you only play your division rivals and maybe one or two teams in the, um, in the upper division in your conference. Um, so that's it. So it is! So it's, 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 yeah. so it's like Montreal is liable! Because Mon the NHL and Montreal play at the home of the Lava Rocket. So you've got... So how, how are we now? Two months into the PHL season I've not realised that, Sparky. I know. So really, in ter terms of team names, when the PHL bar gets teams, they should have something related to Long Island, shouldn't they? Yes. 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 Maybe the Long Island some something. Yes. Um, maybe, yes. Um, so yeah, so PHL New York uh, splits its games between both Islander facilities at the Bridgeport Islanders Arena, Togo Morgan Arena, and they play a few, not all, not not a lot. They play a handful of games in US Arena. I believe one of our matchups is going to be at US Arena later in the season. So that'd be very exciting. Um, but yeah. So, well, in that case, Sparky, I think you, I think you've got no excuse not to get PHL New York involved uh, when you host the Ulster Weekend because if they play in both your facilities, then. I think you've got no choice. You're gonna to have to get Peter New York involved. You're gonna to have to do it. Um, but that is amazing that we've got two PHR markets host the Air all weekend back to back. That is a massive yeah, that's a massive win. That is a massive win. Um Yeah. Um It has given me an idea of who should maybe capture the Western Conference in the mascot showdown. What do you think about Sparky? I'm thinking naughty. Nothing. Not react. No. No. It's not react. It's not reacted. No. Well, I was trying. To well, obviously, when it was announced about this was announced, I was trying to think. Right, who should be the captain for the Western Conference of the mascot showdown? Because we know you're going to be the captain of the Eastern Conference. Okay. So you're definitely going to be captain of the Eastern Conference. So I was trying to think, who should be the captain for the Western Conference? Now, of course. Obviously, it means the effort. The first person I thought was obviously Mid Boy Sharky, of course, of course. Okay, but I also thought, well, it's a PHR market. Who's the only Western Western Conference um, in the PHL? Minnesota. So Nordy, it could be a true PHL battle. Sparky for New York, Nordy's Minnesota. So either Sharky or Nordy, that's who I'm nominating to be cut to, to be captain for the Western Conference, but we will But we will see. We will see. But no. But I think it's absolutely um it's exciting. I'm just so I'm just so relieved we're definitely gonna have an all star weekend to look forward to. Because I don't think we could have gone three years without one. We really couldn't. I mean, we just could not. Um It'll be interesting to see how this is going to go with the, with the Olympics. Obviously, the idea is that he's going to have this as like the um, the last thing before Olympic break. So we'll have to see how that one that works out. Because so obviously they tried this in twenty twenty two with Beijing and Vegas, but of course that was never going to work because Vegas scheduled it at, at at the very beginning of the Winter Olympics. So that was never going to work. Even though he did let players go to Beijing, it was never going to work. We'll have to see how this one works. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll have to see how that works. But, um, absolutely. And I'm just so happy that it's going to the Islanders. And it's, it's just so 
happy. It's glad to see the NHL doesn't remember there is a second team in New York. A better one. One that hasn't really been given that much smoke, much um, fun in the sun. Okay, so um, it's about time you give, give some love to Sparky. Because um, who's gone to the um, semi to the third round of the playoffs more often in the last um, the last five years? Yep, it's Sparky. It's Sparky. It's Sparky. Sparky made the third round twenty 2020, twenty 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 one. Rangers last made the third round in 2022. And that was the first time since probably 2015. Yes, 2015. Yeah. Who's had more success recently in playoffs? Yeah. So it's about it's about time the Islanders get to have some fun. The side. It's about time the Islanders got recognised. Um. It's about time you got to host an event. Um, so yeah, so it's just amazing. So it's been the idea of getting a hosting event has been long overdue. So I'm just so happy for them. I'm just really, really, really happy. Um, oh, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be lots of fun, isn't it? It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. Lovely fun. We're gonna have a lovely fun, fun weekend. And um, see you for the mascot showdown. The tenth, the tenth one, Sparky. The tenth. Sparky, you're, you're going to be hosting the 10th Mascot Showdown. So, even bigger pressure points to do well, mate, because obviously you're going to be the home team captain who always expected to win MBM. Um, yeah, yeah. So I will start workshopping who should be the West captain. i put two out there, my boys, Sharky and Nordy. Yeah, I have to consider Nordy one of my boys now, because obviously we're, we're, we support the same people as our team, so... Yeah, until they get a mask of their own, they have to be nice to naughty. I know. Um, yeah, but it's absolutely thrilling. Um, just amazing. It it was a start, start out of the blue. It was start of the blue because it was announced during the first intermission of the Islanders Ranger Stain Series game. And it was like, what? what? I was like, yes! I was like, I'm so happy for them. Oh, it's just amazing. I, I could not be more thrilled for you, Sparky. But I try. I could, I could not be. So, I could not be more happy for you. I'm just so happy you're gonna get one. I'm just so amazed, thrilled. Let's all go have fun in, at Long Island, right? Thank you for joining today. Thank you. Don't do click the like button. Don't subscribe to the channel. Make sense for them. Don't ask for like this. Don't wait. Can't have this. Oh, two or four bits. You can read the best of this content. My official channel is Rockhand. Don't get subscribed to the channel for guys. We have getting hot. Got Brian Sweet at the moment of the season. On set tires. Goodbye from Sparky and for me. Or said. <laughs>